We'll be back with the Braithwaite's next Tuesday at the same time of 9 o'clock. Howard told his wife he'd won the lottery. 904,000. But he lied and he nearly got away with it. So I said, well, if it's what I want, I'll have it. The Lottery Liar in 20 minutes. <laughs> But here's a real boon to a house proud perfectionist like myself. New Glist 3-in-1. With water softener, active enzymes that pulverize even baked on nasties, and rinsade, New Glist leaves a glistening shine. Quite staggering. But don't just take my expert word for it. Even the boffins at Hot Point approve. Mm. And you can't beat a good boffin. Mm. Everything glistens with Glist. Don't expect all your water to be delivered in one go. Do all your gym routines in one go. Receive all your electricity at once. Or even all your magazine subscriptions. So why pay your bills all in one go? Direct Debit lets you spread payments, helping you to manage your money more easily. Do it with a debit. Direct Debit. Seriously big bacon double cheeseburger. Two flame grilled 100% beef burgers, cheese and bacon with fries for just £1.99. Down at BK, a real big deal. An incredible Walt Disney classic to discover the lost city of Atlantis. Adventure, fun and laughter, now available on video and Disney DVD. Crisis in the coalfield, a warning on jobs for Selby miners following huge losses. We'll have a full report on calendar tonight at 11.25. The British Olympic medal hero fails a drugs test. Parents fight hospital over what's best for their baby. America resolute as war dead are flown home. Britain's bravest outshine our brightest stars. The ITV News at 10 with Trevor MacDonald. Good evening. The British skier who won a surprise bronze medal at the Winter Olympics has failed a drugs test. Alan Baxter tested positive for a banned stimulant. He is protesting his innocence and says he's devastated by the results. Two weeks ago, he became the first Briton to win an Olympic medal for skiing. Now he could lose it unless a second sample proves negative. From his hometown, Avimore, here's Martin Geisler. Alan Baxter, the Olympic hero, welcomed home to the Highlands last week by 2,000 people on the streets of Avimore. Tonight, he's the talk of the town once again but this time they're asking whether the bronze he won on the slopes of Salt Lake City has been tarnished. Baxter's father was shocked to learn his son had tested positive. He says he can't believe it and won't believe it until it's been proved beyond all doubt. I'm just flabbergasted, amazed. I know he would never take the thing. Uh, even when he was here, you know, he'd been in the house here, and if he was feeling not well, had a headache or whatever, or some pain. He wouldn't even take aspirin. Baxter went to the games with only faint hopes of success. That's what made his story all the more remarkable. Now, so soon after becoming a British hero, he faces being branded a cheat. He chose to make the news public today. In a statement released through the British Olympic Association, he said he'd fight to clear his name. Naturally, I am devastated by the news. I have therefore decided to make public that I am the athlete in question because I have never knowingly taken any medicine or substance to improve my performance and as such believe that I am entirely innocent. The banned drug, methamphetamine or speed, is a powerful stimulant. It's used to enhance performance. 
and some claim it can produce increased energy levels for a number of hours. There's no question that in the somebody doing the event that Baxter was involved in, it would, I'm sure it would enhance the performance. It makes you quicker to respond to things, it makes you more sort of high, gives you greater confidence, gives you greater energy and so on. So it would, in this very circumstance, it would be very effective, I've no doubt. Ten days ago, Alan Baxter was a hero. He put in the run of his life to win Olympic bronze, the best ever performance by a British skier. Now, though, he faces a far greater challenge, a fight before the International Olympic Committee to keep hold not only of his medal, but also...